Hello everyone. Today let us learn how to model this simple machine part in SOLIDWORKS. So as you can see in this isometric view, they have not given the front view direction. So we can assume the front view to be in this direction since the length is 100, that is maximum length compared to the 64. So when I go to the top plane, I will be drawing this profiles in the top plane and I will be using extrude option to extrude these features as well as I will be creating a slot, a hole as well as two holes of M6. Okay. Now let us move on to SOLIDWORKS. So click on new part, ok. Right click on top plane, sketch. Let me create the sketch here. So smart dimension, this length is 100 mm and this length will be 64. Then I'll be drawing the remaining lines. Make sure it is vertical. Similarly, so from here to here, similarly from here to here, you can draw the lines and you can dimension it. So from here to here, the distance is 20 mm. Similarly, from here to here, the distance is 13 mm. Similarly, you apply the same dimensions to the other side as well, so 20 mm. Now, this distance from here to here, this distance 38. As you can see, the sketch is fully defined. I need to add a circle as well as the slot. So, I'll be creating a slot. Now, go to Smart Dimension. Select this. Select this line. The given the distance is 19. The diameter of the circle is 10 mm and it should be in the center. To get the center, select the circle center, hold control key, select the midpoint, say horizontal. Okay, it will be in the middle. Next, select this point, hold control key, select this point, say horizontal. Okay, now by this, the slot will be in the middle. Now let me add the dimensions. So they have given this distance is 18 mm. Hold shift key, select this arc, select this arc. This distance is 38. 38. Hold shift key, select this, select this line. The distance is 13 mm. So, as you can see, the sketch is fully defined. Now, let me add the base supporting structure. Go to smart dimension, the dimension. They are given as 7 mm. Similarly, from here to here, the distance is 7 mm. Okay. Now, exit sketch. Select the sketch. Go to features. Extrude. Select only the leg portion. The distance is 6 mm. Click OK. This is the base portion which I have created. Now, use drop down menu, click on sketch, extrude. Let me extrude only this portion, including these two profiles. But I should leave a gap. So, for that, I will go to offset 6mm. So, it will leave a gap of 6mm. Extrude it for 13mm. 13mm. Click OK. Right now, same sketch has to be selected. Go to extrude now. Select the middle one. Same thing you need to repeat. Go to offset, leave a gap of 6 mm. The thickness here is 25. 25. Click OK. Click OK. Now, let me extrude the other two profiles. Go to extrude. Select this, select this, select this, select this. So, this height will be 38. Once again, we need to leave an offset of 6mm. 6mm offset. Click OK. Now, as you can see here, at the base, it will be gap and the hole and everything is in place. 
Now I have to create two holes of M6 and depth is 20. So for that we have an option called hole wizard. Go to hole wizard. Here we have straight app. Click on this. Scroll down. Select M6. Make sure the standard is ISO. Scroll down. Select blind. The distance is 20. 20. Select the depth as 20. Depth should be 20. Go to positions. 3D sketch. Place it on this face. This space. Go to smart dimension. The distance from here to here, which is 10 mm. Similarly, from the distance from here to here, 13 mm. Same thing has to be done for the other hole. 13 as well as 10. Now say OK. So as you can see here, two holes have been created. To see the depth, we can use this option called section view. So you can drag this. If you want to define the distance, you can always define the distance. From the front plane, it is a distance of minus 10. So exactly at minus 10, it will pass. Control 1. This is the depth of the hole. Clear? So you can switch it off and you will be able to see the profile. So this is the model which I have created. Now we will be generating the views. Let me say the drawing first. Control S. Simple machine part 2. Not. Click OK. Save. Now let me say make drawing from part. Make drawing from part. A4. Custom sheet size 297. 10 mmgs scale right click on sheet 1 properties first angle projection apply changes now our view palette so drag the front view drag the front view top view side view isometric view isometric view let me change the scale it's to 1 is to 1 1 is to 1 yes i can fit all the orthographic as well as isometric Select the isometric view, change the parent style to shaded with edges. Right? Select this front view, select hidden lines visible. Hidden line visible. Now keep adding the dimensions. Go to smart dimension. This is 19 mm, 100 mm, 38 mm, 25 mm. So you can remove double zero options. Document properties, dimensions, trailing zeros, remove. Right, so next you can add the dimension 64 from here to here, 38 from here to here, 20. So from center to this, 19. So keep adding the dimensions. Right, so this completes the problem.